At this point, we've uh, done several behind-the-scenes things on our site. We've set up the static page, edited our menu, worked on our permalinks, um, did updates. So as we get to the end of the day, I want to make a backup of all of this so that we don't have to do it again next time. And when we come back next time, as if you look in the in the syllabus, it shows that that's when we definitely are going to kick it into high gear and start with the plugin, the e-commerce plugin. So we need to use the duplicator plugin to to make a backup here. So we'll get practice with this again. We've done it several times, uh, and we'll do it again together. So this is again looking at instruction number four. We didn't look at number five yet, but I gave you instruction five in case you want to start looking at it. But in instruction four, as we've done previously, now we need to do the first part, archive your site. So we've done this together, we'll do it again. You need to be back in the dashboard. And you've got a new tab of duplicator. So if you hover over duplicator, click on packages. and create new. Uh, before I go further here, no actually well let's go to the next screen in, in a moment and then I'll segue. At this screen uh, it's about to make a backup with these various settings. The defaults often work very well and there's a date. I can leave the date or you can change it but I want to add a note so click on that note icon on the right and you can write whatever you want here I will say after all backups I mean after all updates that's what this backup has after all updates this is a this is an update that was made after all updates and to do add WP e-commerce plugin That's what I'm going to do next time. I'm going to add the WP Commerce plugin. I just use this little spot to make myself notes. Only you will see it. Yes. Packages. And then add new package. So I can write as much as I want here. It's just for you as the developer. Click next. So this is where we could have problems, depending on a few factors, specifically the size of your site. I believe at 100 megabytes, duplicator starts to complain that your site might be too big, that your site might be complex for it to handle. The free duplicator plugin has some limits. If you stay within the limits, it should work pretty well, however. Question? Okay, I'll check yours in just a moment. But here, this is where it's telling me my archive, my whole site is about 38.7 megabytes. The database is about 1.36. If any of these fail here, like total size and such, most likely then I've got pictures that are very large. I want to have pictures that, uh, that are not straight out of my digital camera. I might have mentioned it before, but let me mention here, duplicator update, I mean duplicator possible problems. A very large site. And very large to duplicator, I believe, is greater than 100 megabytes, which is not that large actually. Very large site. A lot of large photos. I'm going to say, if any of your photos is over one megabyte, it's too big. A photo that is more than one megabyte in size is way too big for web quality. That's good for print quality, but not for web quality. What I'm going to recommend, depending on your photo, between 100 kilobytes 
500 kilobytes. That's still pushing it, but it might depend on your photo. A kilobyte, 1,000 kilobytes is one megabyte. So if your picture is one megabyte, it's 1,000 kilobytes. It's 10 times larger than what I'm saying. You should be, you should be using. Uh, WordPress will take whatever photo you give it. One megabyte, six megabytes, ten megabytes. But the problem then comes when Duplicator tries to make a, a backup of it. It's too big. It can't process it. And you don't have much that you can do. You have to replace your big images with more manageable sizes. If you if you can't uh, manage it with file size, you could you think about it in dimensions. So recommended dimensions. <clears throat> Maximum one thousand pixels width or height. If you've got a portrait sized picture like that, well it's one thousand height. If you've got a horizontal picture, well it's one thousand width. Whatever the height is or the opposite dimension is is fine. It's usually going to be in proportion. So if you resize it, you know, down to this size right here, it's still going to be in proportion. This, I say recommended because they can't give an answer for every single person's website. I deal with plenty of websites that were going with a size of, of 1280 because we need our slideshow to cover more of the home screen. So obviously I have to break my rule there. But I'm saying, depending on your website and various factors, <laughs> These are some considerations. Maybe you can get your sizes smaller than 100 kilobytes. Great. Maybe you do not <coughs> get them at 600. Depends on your site, but be aware that the bigger your site is, the more unwieldy it is, harder to make a backup, and the backup is very important. You can't do anything unless you've got a backup somewhere. Because if this messes up on your server, that's it. It's, it's live, it's permanent when you do these changes on WordPress, unless you have the safety net of a backup. Sometimes you might have a relatively large size site and you can change a couple of settings and it might work, but I've tried this with so many different sites, I, I, keep, I feel like I keep fooling myself. I'm going to try to change the settings and see if it works. And it almost never does and I end up buying the Duplicator Pro plugin for the client, which is about $40. We add it into their budget, we buy it, and it works. So if, if your site is getting past these limits, and it keeps failing when it tries to make a backup, I highly recommend you go get the pro version of the plugin. Yes, I am going to shill for it again that I've got my affiliate link right there. If you follow my link, I'll get a little something and you'll get a little something. We all win. If you don't go through that link, you'll get it and it's like $60. If you go through my link, it's like $40 or something. So I do get something out of it. Full disclosure, if you follow my link, you don't have to, of course, but I'm, I am recommending if your site's getting too big, try the Pro Duplicator. You can use it for three sites. So it's not just, you know, $40 for every site. You probably have three or less sites, so you can use it for three sites. Permanent. Um, so let's just click build at the bottom. If you got any error, I'll help you in just a moment. But hopefully we didn't get any errors here. Click build. It's going to process it, and the more pictures you have and files and such, the longer it'll take. But for our relatively small site, it shouldn't take that long. <coughs>
After this, this completes, what it did was it made a perfect copy of the whole site in two files. The installer file, which are instructions to bring it back to life, and the whole site com compressed into that zip file, including the database. So my handout says, uh, after the build is complete, you will get two files. Click to download each of them move the zip and PHP file into a folder with the date to keep them together for next week. So I'm going to create a folder on my desktop with today's date or your flash drive. 2016-0502 and on this screen I will click to download, it may automatically download, it may pop up to ask you, would you like to open it or save it? You want to save it. There's no need to open any of these files. You just need to save them. So on my browser, it pops up, it just downloads here in the corner. On yours, it may pop open that says save or open. You want to save it. And most likely, these were saved to the desktop. And so, what I'm seeing is that I've got installer, and I've got the zip file, and I'm going to put those into my folder with today's date. And that's a perfect copy of everything we did today, which I will put into the network folder and take with, with me on my flash drive. I'll help you in just a moment. But uh, that's our backup for of our work for the day. We'll have a little lab time in case you needed some help. And remember everything that I'm doing, I'm recording it. So if you'd like to see those recordings, send me an email. I'll send you a link. If you were here last month, you'll need to send me another email because it's a new class with a new link. I'll turn the printer on in just a moment but I'm putting a copy of my site and the notes that I wrote into the network folder right now in case you want them. Any... The old class? Still yeah, okay. you can still follow the link to the old class and, and watch those. So if some of you are new this month, you can still go back and watch the old month. Just request the links. Any general questions on anything we talked about today? Yes? When, when I email you for the lectures of the last class, um, does it show the screens, at, or is it just... Um, it's everything that I'm doing on the screen. You'll see my mouse and the windows and my voice and everything. Okay, cool. Right, that's it for the moment. Then we'll have some lab time until 4. I will do some one-on-one -on -one help if you need it. And I'll turn the printer back on. Thank you for coming, and we'll do it again next time.